Hello, welcome to the basic operation tutorial for the track editor of the CLD game. First, you want to search for Epic Games, go to the Epic Games store and look for the CLD game. The track editor. Click on uh, get it and uh, follow the instructions on screen. It will let you uh, install uh, the Epic Launcher and will uh, uh, download the, uh, the track editor that will end up uh, in your library. It's, if you don't know it, it's uh, very similar to how Steam uh, works. Once it's there, you can uh, launch it by simply clicking on it, on your library. Um, the first time it launches, uh, uh, it's probably going to take uh, a long while to set everything up. Uh, just, uh, just let it work. Once it's uh, opened up, uh, you want to use the uh, right mouse button to navigate uh, and uh, follow the instructions on screen. So the first thing you want to do is to uh, open the, uh, the track editor tools from the uh, content browser, which in this case is uh, right here. So I will uh, right click on it and do run editor widget. Uh, secondly, I want to adjust a little bit the interface, uh, closing things that I don't need. Um, what I like to do is to drag and drop uh, this track editor window here to close the content browser, we don't need it for now, and close this uh, modes window that we don't need for now, uh, so that we have more space. Okay, first thing we want to do is to choose the map we want to create our track uh, into. Uh, in this case, I'm going to select the uh, sandbox uh, uh, environment, but you can use any of the, uh, of the environments available in uh, this other game. I will select it and click on load map. The first time um, it loads a new map is probably going to take a long while uh, compiling the shaders. Uh, that's a necessary um, operation that it needs to do. Uh, it will only happen uh, the first time that you load the levels. The, uh, the, the following times it will be a lot faster. Now we will use this button to create a new track. We will give it a name, for example, and it will create uh, the, uh, the basic objects uh, that I need for, uh, for any track. Uh, you can see in the word outliner uh, that I have a starting read with starting light, a track object, which uh, memorizes all the necessary uh, informations about the track, uh, a track spline, which is the, the blue line, uh, and uh, um, a little cheat sheet uh, or some of, of some of the most common operation that we might need. Uh, we can delete this one, but you should not delete the, the other objects. Once we're here, we want to uh, move, edit, modify uh, all the existing gates uh, and, uh, and objects to create the tracks that the track that we want. So for example, I can move around uh, the starting grid. I can take this first gate, set it like that. I can duplicate this gate by Alt dragging. I can change its type in the um, details panel. So look for gate type. I can set it for example to a cone. There you go. Then set another cone. Rotate it the other way around. You will notice that um, every gate has this uh, checkpoint associated to it and an arrow that indicates in which, in which direction this checkpoint uh, should be passed. I can also make it two-way 
like this or inverted direction I want it to be past uh, and I can uh, um, edit it uh, using these values and I can test it to see what it looks like when it's on ok we've placed a couple of gates let's put another one here so for example this one ok um, lastly we want to place uh, a, a finish gate uh, it's not mandatory but we can so I would select uh, uh, Red Bull Crash Gate, reset its scale to 1, well, let's make it 1.5 as these are can be pretty brutal. Okay, and the only thing I need to do is to change the name of this object to end something. Okay. I can also use the content browser over here. I will float this window because I like it better and uh, show this panel here. So I can take any object that is in the track editor uh, window and uh, use it. So for example we have decorative objects structural ones uh, you can have fun many of these can be uh, configured as you like uh, uh, you can place decoration like arrows and such which you can then configure change its color I can place other type of gates, trees, cactuses, all sort of things. The important thing is that you use only objects that are in this uh, track editor uh, folder. If you use other objects, uh, they will not uh, uh, show in game once you try the track. Okay. Once the once I'm satisfied with the track, I'm going to click. Uh, I'm going to choose the number of laps that I want. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, two is fine. Well, let's put it to three. Uh, I'm going to click on uh, populate gates list and regenerate out the spline. Okay. So populate gate list uh, alphabetically. It will. Uh, uh, take the gates uh, and, and use them in their alphabetical order. This means that if I want to insert a gate uh, in an existing track, I can, uh, for example, copy this gate, put it there, and if I want this to be passed uh, between these two, so between gate 3 and 4, I just need to make sure that it goes between them alphabetically, so I could call it, uh, for example, 3A. Let's make another one. And 3B. Now, I can click again these two buttons, and you can see that they're now part of the track. Now I want to uh, check the track validity to make sure it is all fine. Uh, it's going to tell me some information about this track, uh, how many gates it has, uh, how many end section gates it has, which is this one in this case, three laps, its length uh, and all of that. Now I can uh, play test it uh, with this uh, button which will allow me to uh, play the track uh, directly in game 
Now to open the in-game menu, as you can see here, you will need to press the M button. Now testing it in arcade mode, but I can see that it works correctly. And it goes to the crash gate. Great. I can press ESC, escape to quit this. And uh, if you're having trouble uh, with the uh, transmitter, um, just simply um, use the controls, transmitter calibration page. Okay. Something important that we want to do often is uh, save all in case there's uh, uh, any problem which will save uh, all your work and make sure you don't lose it. Finally, we want to publish this track uh, so that I can share it with, uh, with other players. So very simply, uh, with this uh, uh, button, with this interface, I can uh, uh, publish uh, uh, a new track, like in this case, or I can uh, uh, update uh, an existing uh, uh, track that I've created before. Okay, in this case uh, we're going to publish this as a, as a new track. Uh, I can choose uh, a picture if I want to and I can also edit that later from the Steam, Steam Workshop. I will give it a title. Uh, I will have to give it a description, which in this case I can choose if I want to make it uh, public uh, or for friends only or hidden or unlisted. Uh, then I click publish track. Just give it a second. Here I have feedback uh, on what has happened. So now I can go to my Steam page in the library, in the CLD game, workshop, look for the files that I have posted, and here is the track that I have just exported. From here, I can uh, uh, keep editing this page, uh, I can change its title, I can add uh, images, screenshots, uh, uh, whatever I like, I can change its visibility, uh, delete it, uh, and, and all that stuff. For testing it, uh, or I can also of course uh, uh, rate it uh, and share it uh, so that I can send uh, uh, this link uh, to, to my friends uh, so that they can um, download it uh, and, uh, and test it themselves. Um, to, to do so, uh, you need to click on the subscribe button. Then I can start the game and I will go into time attack mode, worship tracks. And here I will find the track that I've just uh, exported. I can uh, race. And there you have it. Here is the track that we have created. Okay, uh, have fun and I can't wait to see your amazing creations.